Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Jemima and I blog about natural hair and my main aim is to show people who have the same texture as me that our hair is beautiful as it is. I want people to be confident in wearing their hair and yeah i just want people to just rock their hair rock their natural textures and just feel pride you know because our hair is beautiful and god made us that way on purpose so that's what this channel is about that's why i share a lot of textured hairstyles so if you're into that kind of thing and you're not subscribed yet why not hit that subscribe button and come join the family so today as part of the ivida hair growth challenge i wanted to share something about protective styling and accessories now this is something that is not talked about a lot but a lot of people protective style wrong so then their hair does not grow so it sort of defeats the purpose of wearing protective styles another thing about protective styles is accessories especially um, when styling your own hair so the main accessory that I'm talking about or is it a styling tool I don't know but those are bobby pins or just hair pins now these are used in a lot of styles especially like bonds and pinups now these are probably one of the biggest culprits when it comes to traction alopecia because they do pull out hairs when not used properly if you constantly use hairpins in the same place, it will pull out your hair. If you if you put it in your hair and it's too tight, you feel it tugging and you leave it in for a week, it will loosen, but it will loosen with your hair. I will put a picture of what bobby pins have done to my hair up here. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with the buns, high buns, low buns, I love all of them and whilst I was natural my hair was not long enough at about the I think it was about the the two-year mark my hair was not long enough for these huge buns and I remember forcing my hair into these buns with lots and lots of bobby pins I mean a lot of it and just imagine just having loads of bobby pins in my hair and leaving them in for like the whole week. So obviously my edges were affected a lot as shown in the picture. They've thinned out and for years I have been nursing thinned hairline. Even though it's not obvious in a lot of my videos and a lot of my pictures, it's there. My hair grows but then it falls out because of the pressure that I'm applying to my edges and also when I do my high buns I pin um, my hair down and then it also affects my crown so I was losing hair at my crown because of all the pins I was pushing in there and because you put pins in they all sort of meet at your crown so you have like multiple pins pulling in different directions the crown is so so sensitive and already is a problem area for most people so it's important to be very very gentle so in this video i'm just going to share with you one thing that i have started doing to help grow my hairline back and also to grow my crown hair a lot thicker so as you can see on my hand i have this mulberry silk hair scrunchie that i got from healthy hair studios by anytan who is also a trichologist and hair coach on instagram i purchased these one because of the beautiful colors so i have this color and also like a a green and black and they've got other colors because we're just beautiful but then I later on heard about the benefits of using mulberry silk in our hair mulberry silk shares a lot of similarities when it comes to what our hair is made of as in amino acids and proteins so in that sense it's very moisturizing for our hair it also has really long fibers as opposed to cotton so it means that your hair will not snag onto the fabric so you will not have damaging 
to your hair strands and sometimes when you also use scrunchies you find that it pulls away with your hair these do not do that so that is the reason why I invested in them they're quite expensive I've got three for about 17 pounds I think, I think it was £17.50. I also have the head wrap which I use. So this is the bun that I have done. Um, this is an old wash and go that I've put up in a bun. So I'm going to take it down and just show you guys how I did it. So, oh gosh, I'm pulling my hair out. So as you can see, this is my hair and there's no pins nothing so i used this crunchy which is the same it can it comes in the same pack as this to hold my hair so once it's in there you can moisturize your hair as you wish so i stretch my hair like so so stretch and fluff and then tuck under so tuck it under tuck it under the so like that so just tuck it under so like that so I'll just go around and do the same thing and this is I find to be a lot more gentler on my hair so it's easy on my hairline it's easy on my crown and it's just a win-win for for everyone it doesn't sap out um, the moisture out of my hair so hold it like that. So this is just to create structure and make it puffy and tuck it under like so. Okay, so we've got that as well. So the back. So hold it. And then tuck it under. So for this one, hold it. And then under and that's it how easy was that it's quick there's no snagging it's not too tight my edges are free I don't usually do my edges but I decided to do them today and just like that I know that by doing this my hairline is going to grow back and it will give my crown some time to also thicken out so honestly before you use another bobby pin be very careful think about how you're using it if it's too tight remove it don't leave it in for too long as i've been doing i've been leaving it in for about a week at a time um if it when you're taking it out be very careful and don't just pull make sure that you you open the teeth up. I still use them before different kind of styles, like I'll use it to sort of hold the side of my twist out or something like that, but I wouldn't use it and pin loads of it in my bun. So that has definitely helped. So that's what I've been doing. So if you find that you're struggling with your edges and you or, or any parts of your hair, but you use a lot of hairpins, maybe that's something that you need to look into. Maybe they're causing you to lose your hair so i'm going to link below where i got these from until next time make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification button so you can get a notification every time i post a new video also 
don't forget to join my newsletter i send further details of my videos in my newsletter and it's just a way to keep in touch in case youtube decides to kick me off the platform or if anything was to happen to this platform at least i'll have you guys on my newsletter and we can keep the party going so definitely join me on there and let me know what other videos you'd like to see let me know how your ivida challenge is going i really need to share more videos so i will be doing that and thank you for watching and i shall see you in my next video bye